And here at Twin Cities Live, we got a little tip, okay, from a baker at Keys Cafe in White Bear Lake. Now they have they have I think nine locations in the Twin Cities all yeah. Cafe. Place, yeah. This is the only one where the workers there are convinced that it's haunted. They think the kitchen, something creepy is going on in there, even though they're turning out great treats and baker's dozen. So in honor of Friday the 13th, here's what we did. We we rounded up our team of ghost hunters, psychic Jody Levon and Love local it. ghost investigator Dave Schrader, and we sent them to check it out. <laughs> Listen, everybody's been to a Keys, and if you haven't, you've been missing out on something. You gotta come for the friendly atmosphere, for the great food, and I'll tell you what, you have one piece of this cake and you're gonna be haunted by it forever. You're gonna wanna come back. But that's not the type of haunting we're here for today. No, I heard there's a bunch of spooks here. That's right, Jody. We're here to actually check out and investigate a haunted Keys right here in White Bear Lake. So I'm standing here with Selena. You're the owner of this Keys restaurant. Yes, I right? am. Okay. How long has this restaurant been in existence? This restaurant has been here for 22 years. We were contacted by one of your employees saying that there might be something going on here of the supernatural nature. What do you know about the ghosts uh, or possibly ghosts that are haunting this place? Well, because of the nature of our kitchen, our bakers actually bake overnight. So just being alone in a building, they are able to really, they're really in tune to noises and seeing things going on. Once in a while, I'll hear the ice like machine like shut off and turn on, but it's not. I've never really know like it's kind of really cold over here whenever I've worked back here, so I don't know what it was. It's just kind of like always kind of a cold, drafty feeling, and it's just kind of like, is the ice machine open? <laughs> it is not as friendly here at all. Um, kind of creeps me out, to be honest. See right here, as I step over here, I can feel a much heavier energy right from here to here. Why is that? Um, it makes sense because one of the big funny tricks that happens happens with our radios. It doesn't matter if it's a new radio, an old radio, it will shut itself off even though it's still on, or the radio station will completely change to something else somebody else listens to. Playing with the radio, that's something that we've seen a lot. It seems to be an easier tool to mess with, so that makes a lot of sense, especially what was intriguing to me is that you said no matter what radio you have in here. So it's not maybe we just have a faulty radio, you've replaced it on numerous occasions, mm -hmm. and each one starts to do the same thing. The cooler door would be back here sitting, or I'd be over in the cage, and all of a sudden the cooler door would open. Now, now which door Which door specifically opens itself? That's a very fun one. You can actually, there's been times where I have been actually standing right here, and I will actually watch the door open itself, stay open just enough, and then shut. That doesn't look like it's easy to open. No, it's not. There's a seal that actually goes on in there, which is why I always thought it was odd. I've never actually seen a cooler open itself. All right, well, while we were just doing a walkthrough, and uh, kind of hearing some of your experiences. I was, I was running my recorder the whole time just to see if I might pick up anything that uh, was out of the ordinary, any voices, anything else that uh, might be following us. While we were going back there, I found a, an interesting piece of audio. I, I want to boost it and see if I can get it a little louder. But when we were back there and I was asking you specifically about the door and asking you which door opens and shuts, I'll play this and see if you ladies can uh, hear the answer. Have you done? If you're actually watch the door open it so as soon as she gets done saying, I open the door and then it shuts, you'll hear a voice come right after and it sounds like more of a masculine voice saying, shut. And it's repeating back what she just got done saying. Open itself, stay open just enough, and then shut. And it's kind of like, and I've mentioned this to a few of the At first I was trying to replay in my mind, had she opened the door while she was explaining, so maybe we were picking up that vacuum as it was shutting and, and creating what we call audio matrixing, where you think you hear something, mm -hmm. but then right after I say, can you actually open the door? So it wasn't anything. We were all just standing in that room at that point. It, it sounds to me as though as soon as you get done saying, the door will open and then shut, somebody repeats it to, to assure you you're right, and we hear this male voice say, shut. So uh, interesting. I don't know. This is, uh, this is a crazy place. I'd love to come in and do a full-on investigation sometime, and, you know, if I have to eat sweet rolls all night, I will. I got yeah. a little goose bumpy. It is That's a little chilly in here. creepy. It is creepy. I was listening hard for that shut. I don't know. It just, I mean, it's a subtle thing. I don't know if I heard a little meh. You just can go in and replay that I audio. I just know, like say, if you don't know, I, I say this every time, though, if you don't know who Dave is, 
Dave is like, yeah, he, he's a local guy here, but yeah. Dave is like nationally one of the mm -hmm. most respected ghost hunters in the country. So if he says it said shut, maybe it said shut. Yeah. I think it said shut. <laughs> and I'm not going to mess with it. Well, and obviously, <laughs> I mean, shut the door. <laughs> whatever ghosts are down there must be a fan of all the sweet, sweet. treats that are being baked at well, Keys because they're not mean, messing seriously. with those. I mean, aren't you going to haunt Keys with, you know? <laughs> no. Yeah, they're, they're not stupid. No. We're missing cinnamon rolls here this morning. What's going on? So I think it's the more, ghosts. more on uh, Jody and Dave, we have that on our website as well if you want to find out more about them. And you can also let us know on our Facebook page where you think we should send our ghost hunting team next. Jody wanted to emphasize, though, they're nice ghosts and you can go there and enjoy the treats. Yeah. And, oh, and yeah.